Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Now we're making great progress with the LS lesson. Brian is coming along. Absolutely, and once again, I'm ahead of you, John. I got all four of my pistons in. I'm torqued down on the bottom end. We'll go back and check that, but I'm ahead of you, buddy. It's not supposed to be that way. Anyway, I got the last piston so you can see it anyway. This is pretty cool. First thing we had to do was stagger all the rings. You don't want the gap to go through there, or you'll have blow by. It'll get through the cylinder, so we'll do that. Take our tool, Brian, if Absolutely. you help me stretch it on there like that. Down over, yep. That's perfect. Give it a little tug. There, there we go. go. Make sure your rings are tucked in there real nice. Flat side of the bottom of the tool there. There you go. Dot to the front here. Dot you to the front on the piston. Dot to the front of the piston. Everywhere else, you can yep. see that. Get the tool. Sink her down Squeeze on there. it down pretty good. Get your Those rings. Yep. There you go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it down to you real carefully. If you had studs, you'd want to put some little rubber hoses on there so you don't scratch anything. That's right. Get it down, get it lined up. What I'm going to do is just simply tap the tool to make sure it's flush against the block. Bring the piston down a little bit. Come back, center the tool again. And then we should be able to give it a shot. You ready, Brian? Sinker, buddy. Sinker. There nice. it goes. Well done. All Put right. The rag right down on, the, down on the crank to protect that. Let's take a round. Yep. Look here. Spin sink. it around. All right, ready? Yep. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. Tremendous. Now we can go ahead and lose your rag. Yep. That's a good thing. Get this rag out of here. Pop the piston down of here. Perfect. There we go. Awesome. Now, Brian, if you work that piston up, I'll work the bearing. You got to go okay. here and kind of push it up to me yep. from the bottom, from yep. the bottom there. Bottom. There you go. There we go. Got it. Yep. Look at that. Wow. Right down Beautiful. On there. All right. You got the bearing. Absolutely. But before you. I mean, cap here, really important. Numbers have to match numbers. You want that to go on right. So okay. But before go. you do that, let's go ahead oh. and do a little bit of plastic gauge. All right. This is pretty cool. Just another look at a measurement that's maybe not as precise as what we did by measuring the crank and then measuring the bore and subtracting the two. But this is pretty cool. I'm going to lay this little piece of plastic right on there. There. So if you look down there, there's this little piece of plastic called Plasti Gauge. Now we'll put the cap on. You want to do this dry. You want to make sure it's dry and you don't want to spin the crank. So get your numbers, numbers right and get that go. on there. Numbers right. You want to torque it down. Mm -hmm. and you're looking to crush that. Obviously that's going to give us our tolerance in the acceptable spacing. There you go. I'll run them down. You want to okay. get the torque wrench? Yep, absolutely. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead. The torque is two specifications. Is it what? 15? 15. 15. 15. Yep. yep. So you go down to 15 to your break the neck there. That's there it, you, you got go, it. Right there, not much. Yep. Spin it, accelerate here. There we go. Perfect, and then the degrees, how many degrees is it? Uh, 80 or 81. Okay, 80 yep. degrees, so we're 80. gonna go around. Just look at your spec, everyone varies a bit. I'm gonna put this, is called a torque angle gauge. This is pretty cool. And what I'll do is I'll set zero here so you guys can see it. Let me get zero over here. There's zero right there. So if I bring this around to zero, I'll loosen this up. And what I'm doing is I'm actually got it on the bolt. Zero's right there. When I pull it, I want to go degrees. A little more accurate than just the click tight torque wrench. Yep. So I'll go around to all the way over to about 80 right there. Oh, that's yep. scary, but it does it, all right? Yep. And we do the same thing on this one. Bring it back to zero, put it on there. And then what I'll do is I'll pull this one. Once again, 80. Right nice. about there, and that's there nice go. and tight. So well it's torque done. to specifications. We did the main bearings that way. Now what we can do real quickly is Back pull this off. off. Brian, if you grab that cap real quick. Grab that, that cap and let's cap. take a look straight off. Coming straight off, you get a good look at this. Nice, there all right, you go. see it's smooshed right there. So we're looking at about, I would say, almost 2,000s. Just check your spec, make sure it's right. If you have too much, you'll have oil leakage, it won't build pressure. You don't have enough, it's gonna seize up. Hey, you know what, we're going to the garage ed right after this break. Stick around, plenty more Tech Garage brought to you by rockauto.com.